Hey friends, we need to talk about restarts, how to do them, and why you need to be good at them. Okay friends, so when we are welding, we have to be able to restart and have the stringer look like we never stopped. So our electrodes are only so long. We don't have a four foot long electrode. That'd be impossible to use. So we need to be able to restart and take that stringer that we've stopped on and continue on with it. So the way we do this, when we have a stringer that we've started and we had to stop for some reason, maybe we ran out of an electrode, maybe uh, the power went off or whatnot, or maybe it was just a super, super long stringer that we had to stop on. So when you get this, you're going to need to chip off the slag. So I'm gonna go ahead and cool this off. It hasn't been cooled off yet. Then we're going to chip this slag off. Okay, now we can see our weld. We can see our stringer here, and we can see this little crater that was left when we stopped. When we restart, we're going to strike an arc in that crater and go back so there's no gaps here. We're gonna strike an arc, move back, and then start again. So the way that will look, we'll be welding. We're getting our position everything ready. We're going to strike the arc in that crater, push the electrode back and continue our circle pattern like we never stopped and then move on. You need to be able to do restarts, friends, because many times, many times in industry or when we're welding for uh, a company, you won't just have a weld that's only as long as one electrode. You'll need to be able to use multiple electrodes on one weld and make it look like it was only one electrode for a really long span. So we have to be able to get good at restarts. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try to see if we can watch through there, through the camera, and watch as I restart, and then we'll take a look at it afterwards. All right, friends, so it was a little difficult to see, I know, but we have a couple restarts in here. We have one right here. You can see a little bit. I am I could have gone back just a tiny bit and then started again. And then we have another one right here. You can see there's just a little indentation right here. I don't know if that kind of helps a little bit. You can see there's a little bit of a low spot. So I should have come back just a little bit more, but that's what we want it to look like. We don't want any big craters. You don't want to start it here and just go. You want to be able to start in that crater, strike in the crater, move back, and then start circling again. So it looks like one long continuous stringer. Hey folks, thanks so much for watching. Remember, the more you weld, the better you get if you're using your fundamentals. You never become a good welder by just watching videos. You gotta get out there and actually start striking arcs and burning rods. Hey, thanks so much for the view, folks.